What's going on guys, Dots here, and today I'm bringing you a guide on the God Eye weapons in Black Desert Online. The God Eye weapons provide an alternative path to upgrade your Tet Black Star weapons to Pen, giving you five incremental upgrades instead of just hoping that you get lucky with a Pen Black Star tap. This means that the base God Eye weapon has the same power as a Tet Black Star, with the Pen God Eye having the same power as a Pen Black Star. These weapons definitely have received some mixed reactions from the community upon their release, with some people thinking they're amazing and others thinking that they're just totally useless. I'm just going to break down how the weapons work today for you guys and then give you my thoughts on what I think you should do with them near the end of the video. In order to get a base God Eye weapon, you're going to need to exchange a Tet Black Star along with a Scorching Sun Crystal with Merendora and Rana. In order to make the Scorching Sun Crystal, you're going to need to use Heating on the Processing Window with 30 Magical Shards, which are acquired from Heating Black Magic Crystals, 10 Scorching Sun Shards, which are purchased off the Marketplace or dropped from Calpheon Mobs in Elvia Servers, as well as 100 Weapon Blackstones, which can be bought off of the MP or dropped from a variety of mobs or other sources. Now, getting the Tet Black Star is obviously going to be the hardest part of the process in acquiring a God Eye weapon. You can either choose to get a base Black Star piece yourself through the Star's End quest line, which I'll link a guide to below, or you can just purchase it straight up off the marketplace. You can then attempt to enhance this to Tet yourself if you so choose. Personally, I'd only recommend doing this if you have an abundance of fail stacks and artisan's memory. Otherwise, I would just go the way that has less headaches and purchase it straight up off the marketplace. If you're a succession class, you're going to want to get your awakening black star weapon. And if you're um, a awakening class, you're going to want to get the main hand weapon. The reason for this is so it still allows you to coffers the weapon that you primarily use to hit AP brackets, but the monster damage substat will carry over from the other weapon, so you get to enjoy the primary benefits of the Black Star while still having the ability to use coffers for your AP brackets on the weapon you mostly use. So to put make that a little bit easier with an example, if you're an Awakening class, right, you're going to want to get a Dandelion Awakening weapon and the Black Star main hand because obviously the AP brackets on your Dandelion weapon are going to be more important because you're on your Awakening bar more. So we want the highest amount of your AP to be there, especially considering that 30, only 30% 30 of your opposite weapon's AP is counted. However, all of the substats on your opposite weapon are counted, so you get 100% of the value of all the monster damage on your Black Star weapon, even though it's not the main weapon you're using. So that's the benefit of having it on the opposite weapon. Now, once you actually have your Tet Black Star and the Scorching Sun Crystal, you're going to talk to the Black Spirit and get the quest God-Eyed Weapon Merendora's Calling, which will prompt you to make an exchange with Merendora, who you can find in Kama uh, Sylvia and Grana, and you'll need to have the weapon in your possession, um, as well as the crystal, to make the exchange. Now, at this point, you're obviously going to want to start enhancing. To enhance the God-Eyed Weapon, you're going to need to use the uh, Scorching Sun Gemstone. These are created from heating one of each of the following materials, a hard black crystal shard, a sharp black crystal shard, a scorching sun shard, and a mass of pure magic. All of the shards can be purchased on the marketplace, while the masses can be farmed from a variety of monsters. You can also heat a scorching sun shard with a flawless magical black stone, which is the enhancement material for a regular black star weapon. Now, with all of the Scorching Sun gemstones and your base God-Eyed weapon, it is now enhancement time. Now, I would recommend the following fail stacks for enhancement of your God-Eyed weapon. From base to pry, I would use a 100 stack. From pry to duo, use a 130. From duo to try, use a 150. From try to tet, use a 170. And from tet to pen, use a 200 plus. Now, with all of this being said, what is my personal recommendation on what to do with these weapons? In my opinion, I do absolutely think they're worth getting, but only to a point. And for me, that is going to be duo or maybe to try. The reason being is that getting a duo God-Eyed weapon isn't that hard once you have the base in your possession, since when you fail an enhancement going for duo, it doesn't go down to base, it just stays at pry, which means that you can essentially just keep tapping away until it hits duo. And a duo god eye is going to give you three additional AP over your Tet Blackstar for fairly little effort. 
However, you have way more enhancements to go through to get this god I'd weapon to pen versus just hitting a bl Tet Black Star and getting it up to pen in one step. So my recommendation is to get that duo god eyed on the weapon slot that I recommended earlier in the guide. So main hand for awakening and awakening weapon for succession, and then just sit on that for a while. That weapon's going to serve you very well for a very long time. Now, when you're at the point that you're looking to upgrade this weapon to something further, you can either sell it to help fund raw purchasing a pen black star, or you can buy a spare Tet Black Star and use all of your Kron pen attempts or Jay's Hammer attempts on that backup weapon and then sell the God Eyed weapon when your, you know, Tet to Pen Black Star actually hits. Also, if you're new and don't want to deal with any of what I'm talking about here in this video, you can just easily stick to using the Jatina Guaranteed Pen Boss Weapons, which have a much easier progression path compared to this since there's really no enhancing involved, which I do cover at length in this guide, which I will link in the description below. However, the Black Star and God Eye weapons do have a lot of benefit to them just due to the fact that it makes your grind speed and clear speed faster, which allows you to gear up quicker. So I did just want to make a guide covering these today to help you kind of weigh the pros and cons and the benefits to see if this is something that's right for you and your character. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful and this did, uh, you guys did enjoy watching the guide. If you did, I would appreciate a lot if you left the like on it. If you have any questions about God Eye weapons, please feel free to leave them below and subscribe for more MMO beginner guides and content. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I do very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all in the next video.